I'm a bit shorter than everyone else here. Okay, let's go. Uh, hi, I'm Anna. I go to Westside. Bada boom. Bada boom. Uh, here's my poem, Books. Paper and a cover, not that much, but oh, they can be everything. Books are being banned all around the world for bad reasons. Books are burning because of overprotective adults. Books are being hated, tested, ripped, and ruined just because of power-hungry power hungry people who hate diversity. Well, they are wrong. Books can be freedom. They can be a thrilling adventure like The Hunger Games, a best friend like Harry Potter, or a family like the Penderwicks. In 1973, the author of Slaughterhouse-Five wrote a letter trying to prove that he and other authors were not, and I quote, rat-like people who enjoy making money off of poisoning the minds of young people. They burned his book anyway. Every person makes mistakes, but you can't hide them from the world by banning them. The book Two Boys Kissing literally got, ju got judged by its cover. People wanted to ban this book because it shows wrong affection of one gender on the cover of the book. Well, if you disagree with this, instead of ruining it for everyone else by banning it, maybe just don't read the book. Would you really make it seem that this is wrong and cause others to be unhappy? We hold the stories of generations in our hands, and yet these are the ones that you choose to ban. Not guns, not violence, not hate. Books. You chose to ban books. 2015. The Holy Bible was on the top 10 list of most banned and challenged books of the year. The reason they wanted to ban was because of religious viewpoints. Uh, it's the Holy Bible. What did you expect? On the website of the ALA, Office for Intellectual Freedom, they have lists of the top 10 most banned and challenged books of the year. On the list for 2019, eight of the 10 books were banned for LGBTQIA reasons. Think of how boring the world would be if you eliminated everything that's different, everything that's exciting, or everything that's different from your opinion. What a horrible world that would be. Why do you tell me to return the book from my school's website because it says the F word, when my peers in the hallway say so much worse and you do nothing about it? Books show us the people around us and give us an experience like theirs. We escape the world we know with books, but we also learn more about it too. Don't the book banners see that every time a book has a fiery ending or gets ripped off the shelf, you kill the opportunity for someone else to fall in love, be free, have an adventure, find a friend or a family. Don't the book banners see that this is a problem that is destroying creativity.